Hi guys. I thought in this vid I'd just show some types of arrowheads common in Britain, mostly during the Neolithic era. Neolithic era followed the Mesolithic. In the Mesolithic people were hunter-gatherers and possibly quite a lot of people, if not all people, knew how to nap and make arrowheads. But during the Neolithic era farming grew and the transition would have gone from having a lot of people knowing how to nap to just having one napping specialist in every village. But of course that napping specialist would have become highly skilled and the arrowheads throughout the Neolithic period got ever more and more complicated and many of them most likely were not designed for shooting but were designed for status symbols or maybe some sort of spiritual use. The most common type of arrowhead in the early Neolithic is the leaf shape. I've got a few leaf shapes here. There tends to be two kinds of leaf shapes. The kite ones and the round ones which obviously can get quite thin or they can be big full and round. They're not that difficult to make so it would let the Mesolithic hunter-gatherers continue making them without too much skill but as the really skilled nappers come in they'd have made some quite quite difficult to make ultra thin pretty ones like that which for some reason on a lot of British archaeological finds are classed as knives not worked that out why yet Another type of Neolithic arrowhead is quite an unusual one. It's the chisel. Now it's very counterintuitive. You'd imagine it went in that way, but it actually goes in the arrow that way. That is the cutting edge. Here's another chisel. another one. Very simple arrowheads, not incredibly difficult to make. A variant of the chisel is this little thing called the petite tranchette. I can't speak French so I probably pronounced it wrong. What's interesting about them is they're chisels as well. But if we look at the little ridge these actually come from one of these. This is a blade, standard blade, of a conical core I made. You take the blade down like that and then all you need to do is make a cut like that and you've got a petite tranche arrowhead. It would go something like that. This is naturally razor sharp. And I could probably take three or four off that just by putting it on a stone, chop, chop, chop. And we get these arrowheads. Next kind of arrowhead is these. And these are called oblique arrowheads. Again, towards, in the early Neolithic they'd be very very simple ones just like that but later on they started developing little towels for hafting purposes. Some of them are even barbed and you get Irish ones that are much longer the distinction between the Irish and the English is the English ones tend to be barbed and the Irish not barbed but a bit longer. And one variant is the long tailed. Now the long tailed is obviously not for firing. This long tail is very difficult to make and very fragile and that would have been an item of probably value to someone back then. 
Another kind of arrowhead commonly found in Britain is the triangle. Simple straight triangular ones. Nothing special about them. Were they actually arrowheads or were they just preforms that hadn't yet been worked into arrowheads? Well, don't really know, but a triangle could quite easily be put into a tangled and barb. So it could be a preform for a tangled and barbed. Next kind of arrowhead is hollow based, where you just get a triangle and you hollow the base out. Mm -hmm. Another hollow base, hollow base. Now, these may not be British. There's very few of them found, and they're very common in Ireland, so that the, the few found in Britain may actually be imports from Ireland. Another one is they may actually be preforms. For these, it's not that difficult to knock one of them into one of them. And the final kind of arrowhead found in Britain, right up to the late Neolithic and Bronze Age, is the tanged and barbed. Oh, the tanged and barbed. Because it has a long tang. And these two barbs. And we can see that's quite a nice one. They come in lots of different varieties and two qualities you usually get the high quality ones which are generally maybe not for shooting like these and the lower quality ones which didn't have such elaborate barbs which would almost definitely be more for shooting you can actually identify the types by the barbs they come where you have the barbs and the tang that are the same length. You have the ones with the tang which is longer than the barbs and the one with the barbs which are longer than the tang and you tend to categorize them that way and you also get another variant which is very long and thin. And these were used from the late Neolithic to the early Bronze Age and were in, of course in the Middle Bronze Age it's when really sophisticated napping began to go out of fashion. So we're probably the pinnacle of arrowhead design. I have seen some tests on arrowheads where they've taken these, these, these and these and shot them and What's generally happened is these have proved vastly superior, which is what you kind of expect. Early Neolithic, Middle Neolithic, Late Neolithic, you'd kind of expect the Late Neolithic development to be the best at shooting. So that is about the seven main kind of arrowheads found in Britain in the Neolithic period.